tells us this is the foundation. How about them Cowboys? Cowboy, Cowboys beat the Eagles 29 to 23 in overtime. Great play, great play by Amari Cooper with the game-winning touchdown. As much as you see me jumping around, acting stupid, and all that kind of stuff in the um, in, on the game-winning play, um, I calm down a lot because the most important thing we got our eighth win. You know, we got so far. You know, still got a lot of way to go. We got our fourth win in the division. That's that's even better. So, like I said, we have a lot way, more way to go and all that. Um, what well, part of the reason why too I was overly excited because I haven't had a beer yet. Um, this game has so much emotion going on. I was just like, what the hell? You know, I mean, my my uh, a guy that I used to work with um, years ago. He's a big Eagles fan, and as soon as that fumble happened, I was like, okay, now I'm gonna be distracted because he's gonna be. He's, me and him is going to have a back and forth. They missed the call. And I, my, my response was simple. Last game, what happened? Shut up. Last game, what happened? Shut up, shut up. No, come on. This, 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 let's be real. You, you, I'll, I'll, go, I'll, I'll, I'll admit it right now. Yeah, we got away with that play. But tell me, what happened in the last game we played? You guys got zero penalties called. Zero. <laughs> so it is what it is I mean and, and that was part of the reason why the emotions was going all crazy because you know the referees it was horrible this game there was calls both sides that was just stupid you know but that's neither here or there I mean the other thing is you know our offense you know um, Zeke runs the ball well uh, to start off with our defense is balling we squander again in the red zone Six points. Our defense again shuts out a team. Six points in the first in the first half. You know we could have had. We could have had at least twelve points. To be honest, in the first half, I mean, you know, if Dak doesn't throw the interception, if if Brett Maher doesn't miss that field goal, you know, then then we hate him at that moment, and then he kicks the franchise record. Then we love him again. You know all that, and then that you know, and then and then that gets. I mean, that got the ego back in the game. He throws another bad interception. Got there, got them to you know to score a touchdown. Puts our defense in a bad bad situation, um, and they allowed a touchdown. So right there, that's another six points. So if you like add that in, that's what twelve, maybe fifteen points that. That was a swing right there, you know. Um, then they tied it up, uh, you know. And again, our defense was doing everything they can. And then our offense, you know, finally, you know, Amari Cooper explodes, the man of the hour. Uh, a lot of guys are gonna, you know, especially Simon. Simon is gonna be loving this because he called it. You know, he's loved. He wanted Amari Cooper. He, I mean, the moment that um, he got word that that was the interest. He was all over it. I was more on the type of, if it happens, it happens. If it if it if it happens, and he helps out, he he makes a positive thing on our team. Great. If it doesn't help, if it doesn't if it doesn't help, of course I'm gonna be missing the pick. But I cannot fault the front office for not making a move. Cannot. You know, other other video makers said that too. Um, so so you can't hurt. You know so. The great thing is that he's he's delivered. <laughs> but anyway, he, he gets like what, 189 yards on two touchdowns again. And he over overall he gets um over two hundred yards and then a third touchdown with the game winner. He is a definition of a playmaker and all that. So you know, and and in the long run, the more and more you see this, the more and more they're gonna have to respect that. And they're gonna be backing off the offense. I mean the the, the line of scrimmage and that's when you you might see Zeke explode even more um, yeah so our offense explodes then our defense starts giving up points and that's why I was like there is not gonna be too much games we can win 13 to 10 thank goodness for Amari Cooper for keep on going but our defense gave up two you know uh, scores in the end too then I was like oh it's gonna come down to the last play 
uh, last possession. We get ourselves in, in in great position. Joe Looney is, you know, as tough as he's been playing, he makes the critical mistake, and, <laughs> and then we go into overtime. And then our uh, tight ends, you know, Blake Jarwin, I got to give him a shout out. You know, he, he contributed in this game. Dalton Short showed up a little bit. Michael Gallup, I feel bad. <laughs> um, he he could have at least three, four touchdowns in the last two, three games, you know. But as it is what it is. Um, yeah, on the final drive, you know, Zeke came alive, you know. Uh, Rod Smith came alive too in this game at, at certain times. So, so a huge shout out to him. Um, again, like the emotions, Zach Martin went down. I was like, and it's sad to say that our offensive line is probably our, our third worst position group in, on the team. I know we miss, I know we have injuries there, but it is what it is. It, it, that, it shows, you know, our, our, our return team, our special teams return team is, is probably the worst. Uh, tight ends, you know, even though they showed up today, tight ends has been very bad too. But our offensive line, you know, which I never thought I'll be saying that. But, you know, Tyron Smith is not playing the same way that he used to, or not in the beginning of the year, um, or in the middle, middle part of the year, um, before his stinger. Uh, Joe Looney, while he's been, you know, he's been very, you know, very tough, you know, you know, filling in for Travis Frederick. You know, he, he hasn't been perfect. Zach Martin has been battling injuries. Uh, he still has been playing the best, and Lyle Collins has been up and down. Connor Williams, you know, you cannot, you know, we've expected for so many years, Tyron Smith, plug in. Travis Frederick, plug in. Zach Martin, plug in. Lyle Collins, plug in. He's taking a little bit more time, and he's not, you know, he isn't, he hasn't um, had the, I would say, had the, um, had the stuff to, to show that, you know, it's right right now. But I'm going to give him a huge shout out when Zach Martin went down. He came in, and while it wasn't pretty, he fought his butt off. Huge props to you, brother. Um, what does this mean for our team? Um, oh, wait, before I get into that, uh, again, Zeke, you know, bat was very battle tested. You know, he made his, you know, he, he did, he made plays when he needed to, uh, Dak, Dak gave you all the emotions too. Um, you know, he looked good at times. He made bad throws. He made great throws. He made good decisions. He made bad decisions. And, you know, but one thing I cannot say is that. His heart kept on beating, and he fought to the end, and he and he came away with the win. So, I think it might be a career career game for him. But you know what, though, as long as we get the win, I could care less about career yards, career touchdown. I don't care about that. Get us the win. You know, I I want to see you play better. Um, moving forward, what does this mean for our team? Well, like I said, it's our fourth win in the division. We got two wins over the Eagles, which Eagles have. A winning record in the division too. They ha they have also um, they they have uh, three wins in the division. So they ha right now um, they're three and two. So they have a winning record right now in the division. So that gives us you know a, a great big edge on that. Um, I don't know who we play next. Like I I forget. I'm too excited right now. I want to celebrate. Um, but moving forward, we got our offense has got to play better, and that's the great thing. Still, yet uh, though, as much as I'm frustrated, the positive thing is that our offense still hasn't. I I feel we can be better, and it's shown at times. You know, if we ever click on offense and really complement our defense, that you know we have to wait and see on that. It may not ever happen, but if that ever does. Look out. All right. Anyway, um, again, I don't know who we play next week, but let's get another win. Let's not, you know, I know the Eagles have a hellacious, um, hellacious schedule. You know what? You know what, though? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to give them every credit in the world to, to try and shock the world over there. We shocked the world with the Saints, you know, shocked. They can they can shock the Rams, so so you know we you know it, it's not over you know so so there's a lot of games to be left to be played. All right, I'm gonna go celebrate now. Mahalo for watching, Paniola boys, and like always, go Cowboys.